Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 30 of our C Sharp for Automation Testing video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about C Sharp 7 new feature, which is throw expressions. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 29 since this part is going to have the code from previous part. All right, let's get started. Throw expressions. It is easy to throw an exception in the middle of an expression. Just call a method that does it for you. But in C Sharp 7.0, we are directly allowing throw as an expression in certain places. So as you can see, this particular paragraph is taken directly from MSDN. So you can find the same information that you are seeing right here on this particular slide. So the expression that I was talking about is gonna look something like this. As you can see here, we don't really have to use the try catch block and uh, throw the exception uh, like we were doing before. But right now it is available straight away using the throw expressions where you can say that if the name of the student is going to be null then just throw a new type initialization exception saying the student dot name is not initialized so it has to be initialized before you use them so this is kind of very very simple uh, example but you can just think of uh, some of the complex scenario in automation where if you don't really initialize the iweb driver object or if you don't really mm -hmm. initialize the page object model then you can throw a custom exceptions by throwing exceptions something like this. So this is really, really a handy tool which we can use for automation as well. And that's exactly what is available in C Sharp 7.0. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Visual Studio 2017. So as you can see, we have written all our code in Visual Studio 2017 and everything is checked in. As you can see, we have this out variable implementation in C Sharp. I just checked in before two minutes before I started this particular video. So the latest code is available already in GitHub. So you can just hop over to our Visual Studio. You can see this is the same code which we are working so far in our course. And in order to demonstrate how to work with the throws expression, let's again hop over to a new feature.cs file. And here, let's say I'm going to create a uh, small method, uh, something like uh, public static get student uh, name. And uh, this particular piece of method is going to just return as uh, what is called as a name of that particular uh, student that we have. And uh, let this be non-static because the member is going to be uh, non-static as well and let's see it's going to be a string right so this is going to be returning us the name of the students and uh let's call this particular class and see how things work so i'm going to come on to break a piece of code and since that's going to be a different class altogether it's a students so i'm going to say students yes is equal to new students uh, and s dot get student name and let me try to initialize this particular student name as well so student name is equal to party there we go and now if i initialize this particular uh, student name and if i just do control dot right line uh, and uh, use this name of student is uh, this one s dot get name and i'm gonna put it over here and now if I try to run this particular piece of code, you can see that the name of the student is Karthik is coming over here, right? And let's say if I don't really initialize a value and if I run this particular piece of code, it's gonna show us empty message, which is kind of legal because we don't really have to, we did not really initialize any value over there. But what if the behavior is not the one which we're expecting? We don't really have to return an empty, rather we have to throw an exception and show that, that the value is not even initialized, something like that. That's why the throws exception throws expression is coming in handy all you have to do is just this if it is going to be empty just throw new type initialization exception but you can uh, throw any kind of exception you want and here you can tell the full type which is nothing but the students uh, dot name just available maybe you, you can also give uh, the full type using the namespace as well which is nothing but the C sharp basics uh, of student dot name and you can say that name has to be initialized before calling it i'm going to give this i'm going to save it and this is going to be of type new exception uh, just forgot that 
There we go. Okay, now everything is cool. And now if I try to run this particular piece of code, you can see that we're gonna get a message here, which is a very, very handy message. It says the type initialization of C sharp uh, student dot name through an exception. And if you see the inner exception, it says the name has to be initialized before calling it. So this is the one which we just passed in here for this particular method, right? So this is how you can throw expression using C sharp 7.0 and this is a new feature which is introduced in C sharp 7.0 itself. So that's it guys. So this is how we can throw a new except expression using C sharp 7.0 feature. So stay tuned for more features in our next video. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.